in this video we will see how to apply the load diversity factor and also the connected loads let's say as per the load list if we plot these uh, loads if we assign these loads here let's say this is the motor 850 kilowatt motor nameplate rating so this is 100 percent 100 percent load and 850 kilowatt is the connected load but this is the connected load but if we see what is the absorbed load what is the actual uh, absorbed load so that may be 90 percent that may be 60 percent or 80 percent 85 percent whatever may be so we can define in this way under this normal let's say this is 90 percent of 850 kilowatt so this is coming 765 kilowatt it is assigned like this this is applicable for all other all other loads as well let's say for the lump load here it is designed the design load is uh, 0.68 megawatt 680 kilowatt and this is 100 percent and 85 percent of that this is coming 0.578 megawatt so this is the absorbed load and this is connected load as per the load list now if we simulate the load flow analysis here let's uh, uh, simulate this load flow analysis here so if we check here under this uh, load flow study case editor here uh, we can see this loading if we go here this is load diversity factor is not assigned but here the loading category as you can see this is the selected as normal so this is normal normal means normal means let's say uh, for this motor what was the normal means here under this nameplate tab you can see this normal means 90 percent of the connected load so if we select the design load that means it will take that 100 percent value that means uh, 850 kilowatt and if we select the normal load that means 90 percent of that 850 kilowatt so under this study case editor brief case editor here we can assign this whether it is normal or design if it is selected as design that means we are going to simulate this load flow analysis under this uh, 100 considering 100 percent load that means the rated uh, rated load or the connected load so that will be the maximum case uh, maximum rated connected load but uh, that will not be uh, the case as per the real scenario so in that case we need to select this normal option normal means 80 percent or 85 percent or 90 percent uh, whatever may be and uh, and here we are not uh, defined uh, uh, we are not defining any load diversity factor so this is fine now now if we if we run this if we run this uh, load flow load flow analysis okay, here now let's check what's the what's the voltage level here you can see this is uh, 102.5 percent this is 101.7 percent this is 107.2 percent voltage this is 100.7 percent this voltage so let's uh, take a snap here what was that so this is under this condition now what we will do we will do uh, we will change this uh, uh, this loading category from normal to the design so uh, just to check uh, what was the you know, what was the changes what were the changes uh, are coming what are uh, what uh, about the voltage profile let's say so we have selected this design means 100 percent that is the rated or the connected load we are not applying any diversity factor here now we are going to simulate this load flow analysis once again so here oh, what we are seeing here this is this is 101.8 percent uh, previously previously it was previously it was 102.5 percent and and previously this was 100.7 percent so now this is coming 99.81 percent so that means the voltage profile is uh, is decreased 
that is uh, considering the rated uh, rated full load current uh, rated uh, full load as per the load list so this is one way uh, how how we can how we can assign that uh, loading category whether uh, whether it is not uh, whether that uh, you know that uh, load diversity factor is applied or not so we can we can select like this otherwise we can do one thing let's say here it is the design that means 100% rated 100% rated load is connected and here we can uh, we, we can assign that load diversity factor so here if we select the load diversity factor let's say global global means uh, global means it will it will uh, you know it will apply the diversity factor globally that means uh, uniformly at all the buses at all the voltage levels at all the buses at all the voltage levels let's say this is 90 percent so uh, this this is 90 diversity factor we are applying this uh, 90 percent diversity uh, low diversity factor globally so uh, let's see uh, what will the impact so just to just to summarize what we have uh, selected here this is the design that means 100 percent rated load uh, as per the load list and here we have applied the global diversity factor as 90 percent so now let's uh, simulate this load flow analysis what uh, and let's check the result here so this is uh 102.3 percent this this is 102 102.3 percent so previously it was 102.5 percent so slightly slightly difference is there but yeah, almost almost uh, close to that uh why why this much of difference 102.5 percent and now it is coming 102.3 percent because because we have applied the load diversity factor here under this loading tab here 90 percent so it is applicable for all the loads connected uh, at all voltage levels at uh, all buses but uh, this is not the fact let's say for this lump load what we have done here for this uh, you can see this is 85 percent so this is 85 percent is but whenever we are applying based on this 100 percent we are applying 90 percent so that's why this much of uh, slightly difference is coming but this is acceptable considering that uh, why why and when this is required to simulate to consider this uh, load diversity factor or the global diversity factor let's say as per the as per the client provided inputs you have you have the you have the real data that uh, something let's say 200 megawatt power is being consumed by this utility system and as per the you know as per the simulation as per the it have uh, output report uh, almost uh, let's say 300 megawatt power is uh, drawing so this network is drawing originally 200 megawatt but as per the simulation it is coming say 300 megawatt so what to do in that case we need to apply the load diversity factor if we don't have the exact details of the uh, you know that loading loading of uh, each and every single equipment let's say for this motor so if this data is available then then it's fine so we can apply this 90% uh, is uh, of the rated load so that we can get the actual value so this this value uh, this input should be available for for all other loads as well for all the motor loads for all the lump loads all the dc ups whatever may be so all for all the loads uh, if we know that then simply we can go to this uh, load flow study case editor brief case editor and under this loading tab here just select this load diversity factor as none and here loading category loading category under this normal under this normal because uh, because uh, you see under um, this nameplate ta tab nameplate tab under this normal it is defined as 90 percent so we need this value to be considered we want uh, uh, to provide uh, the input to the etap software to calculate based on this data only so in that case we can uh, get the actual actual loading so uh, this this result this output will uh, will match uh, almost exactly as per the client provided input so up to this in this video uh, 
that uh, how to how to apply that load diversity factor and how to assign that category loading category of uh, of the loads so i have uh, discussed i hope uh, this is clear to you so if there is any question related to this you can drop your uh, comment in the comment box i will come back to you